That first 15 second pseudo autonomous period underway in qualification match number 19. We see an interesting move by Jam145 for the Blue Alliance. Instead of going straight for power cells in front of their robot, they choose to turn toward the Red Alliance trench and pick up a few power cells that were preloaded on the play on the uh playing field floor during that autonomous period. Typically we see robots going back to their own trench, but here in Sim, it's super easy for these robots to go back to wherever they would like to on the field for those first 15 seconds. With just under two minutes remaining in our match now, the Red Alliance does have about 30 points on the Blue Alliance. They've also scored about 10 more power cells. Blue, though, currently has two robots working on scoring. Red with only one. So that's going to even out in just a few seconds. We do see now that when those robots are working on cycling between their loading station and the power port, they are pretty well matched. Just a few points separating Red from Blue. All three Blue robots coming off of a scoring cycle. Jam going back toward the loading station. Jason with a full hopper of power cells. They've scored at least six so far. That's plenty of points going up on that Blue Alliance score, but Red has done the same. Woosh Woosh still has a hopper full of cells, although they do miss a few of their shot attempts. While Red does have the lead, that is an opening for the Blue Alliance as Red's efficiency drops momentarily. Jason, Jam, and Andrew, all three Blue Robots lined up right in front of the Blue Alliance power port. At least 10 power cells going up for the Blue Alliance. It looks like there's some communication happening between those alliances members. They're being very careful to stay out of each other's way and make sure they can all see the power port clearly before they attempt their scoring. It's slightly slower, but it is leading to more accuracy for the Blue Alliance, who now has a lead 247 to 231 with 35 seconds remaining in the match. Woosh Woosh moves in for some defense against those Blue Alliance scoring robots, leading up to a four second pin count. They have to be very careful that that circle around their robot does not completely close, which would result in a respawn penalty for the Red Alliance. They are playing very efficient defense, but Blue still has the lead, 15 seconds remaining. No action quite yet in the rendezvous point, but now we do see all three Blue robots make their way there. The last Red robot in the rendezvous is going to be Josh, 49-10, but they will be the first off the ground in our final Final two, one seconds of qualification, match number 19. It looks like all six robots up off the ground. Score breakdown coming right up. And as we see, that match is a Blue Alliance victory by just 10 points, 392 to 382. In that match, both alliances did score more than 90 power cells and more than 65 points on the shield generator at the end of the match. So we do have another six point total RP match. Four going home with the Blue Alliance, two with the Red. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.